Now, something about the programs that he's going to cut. The budget reduces funding for the Department of Education by 13%. That's $9 billion less than last year's education funding. How could you be credible as a leader and not understand the importance of investment in our young people? There are some people on the opposite side of the aisle that would still like to do away with the Department of Education altogether. And so he's proposing to cut it by $9 billion. Eliminates, this $9 billion eliminates $732 million from the Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant, which provided aid to 1.6 million students. It cancels $3 billion in Pell Grant reserves. Despite these cuts, the budget includes $1.68 billion increase just for the charter schools, 50% above current levels. I believe parents should have choices. I believe that if there are charter schools that parents would like to send their children to, then do that, but investigate what that charter school is all about. Investigate whether or not it is providing the quality education that they are holding out that it does. Make sure that they have the competent personnel, the competent teachers. Make sure they have the books and the supplies. We just saw one charter school where the owner or president or whatever you want to call her was paying herself 430 something thousand dollars a year. And they didn't have the supplies. Parents were still helping out, bringing supplies for the children. And she gave a big party up in Hollywood where they spent thousands of dollars on everything I guess that you spend on a party. So not every charter school is good. But if there are charter schools that parents want to send their children to, that's fine. But let's never do away with public schools. Never do away with public schools.